Greetings and salutations. Welcome to this episode of the Timber Borg Show. In this video, we're going to do a little look at this re uh, review of this uh, AliExpress China Lego train set. Um, yeah, railway conveyance trains number 25808. This is Asahi, Asahi or Sani or whatever the hell. I don't know how you say it. Um, it's not the, the beer. It's the Chinese Lego brand that I did a previous review of. Um, another thing from them. This is the second one I bought. Um, probably had less problems with this one actually. Um, one of the good things about this model opposed to the other one, like it's free flowing, but that was like last time. I uh, got to explain that the ex axles with these are hard to put together on the wheel. So if you you need to like bash it down with a mallet um, and if you bash it down too hard that can cause issues too anyway I've been getting a little bit of de derailment on the front one but that might be my fault for using a hammer when I was putting the wheels together um, one of the good things wait a second uh, these magnets are super strong right that's why I was struggling with getting the magnets part then this carriage here it, um, does free flow movie for these so I wasn't sure about that because the last this brand train set didn't do that and you do get, so this is like two little cars one's blue so that's good give me some extra blue bricks if I pull that apart um, I did buy this because it's a, basically a, another blue train um, and I wanted to collect more freight carriages <laughs> this train is not motorized obviously I got this for about $46 Australian which is really good value for money even for one without a motor um, you know but some of the other ones are more expensive like 70 or $80 still without the motor and just maybe because they've got a few hundred more parts or something um, or not even just because they're more popular I've noticed there's a big price discrepancy on AliExpress that Basically, it doesn't work by terms of how many bricks you get. You're not just paying for how many bricks are in a kit. You're paying for how popular that kit is and how many of them they've got left in stock, right? So the kits that are almost sold out are always more expensive, even if they don't have a lot of stuff in them. Um, the ones that are fake, actual fake Lego sets, are also more expensive than the ones like this one that are original Chinese designs, right? Um, anyway, another thing was that I wanted to collect more of these. I've actually also bought another grey one and also um, somewhere, but this will be a different video. I've got this one as well here. So I haven't built, built that yet. I'm going to build that next. It's just basically a yellow version and it comes with a little green car which I already had a car, but oh, the, those cars were different colours. So I'm going to have three different coloured cars, but the car itself looks like it's the same design. Um, and so does the the whole thing. It looks like it's the same design, just they've used yellow bricks instead of red ones. Which you can see here, the colour. This looks more like orange in real person, actually. But yeah, yellow, orange, it's actually orange. Um, <laughs> so that's funny. There. Uh, I will put that together and that will be a separate video maybe and I'll show you some of my other carriages that I have purchased recently um, but I just wanted to do a video on this because I've put it together today this is the track it came with again it's that super cheap crappy track which you barely want to use for anything um, pretty much yeah you would only want to use it like on the side you wouldn't want to use it where someone can see it you could cover it it's not bricks or something, maybe still use it. Um, or, you know, if you're going to do like an outside train set that you, you didn't care about it getting wrecked in the weather, then this would be a good track to use for that. But I find pretty much all the trains derail on these ones more frequently because I think they're a bit thinner here, right? So that causes derailments sometimes around corners, um, or even on straights sometimes. But then that can also be if your carriage's wheels are too close together, if you damage them when you're installing them, which I kind of did a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about on that, actually. Uh, all right, I'll pull this off. One of these. All right. 
See? Straight away you can see. See how that's flattened a little bit? I did that, it's my fault. But the axles they give you with this have this gripping on the very corner. Can you see in that in the edges? And it's like this for all this brand, but all the other AliExpress train sets don't have this issue. They're more like the Lego ones. So the Lego one, normally it, the, the metal axle is smooth both ends and it's really easy to stick the axle into the two wheels and you don't need to use a hammer to get them to stay together like this. But with this one, you have to use a hammer and then these pointy bits at the end are supposed to stay pointy to keep them in the right place to prevent derailments, but they get flattened a little bit because of how much force you have to do. Well, you know, I guess if I'd used a different tool, found a different way of doing it, but it's almost impossible to do it by hand. In the previous video about one of these train sets, I mentioned that some of the wheels, the, none of the half the wheels, most of the wheels were not free flowing. I fixed that with that train set, but I had to re-bash all the wheels together to get them tighter because they, I just hadn't pushed them together tight. And if you do it just by hand or even using a mug or a cup, something soft like that on a table, it still doesn't do it until you get a hammer and you sort of smash it really then you do a little bit of damage so you sort of can't win with these axles it's almost like if you're going to buy some of these uh, Asani train sets that you should actually um, buy a fresh set of axles with it as well anyway um, this carriage here doesn't have uh, like this a piece to make the wheels move from side to side which is kind of annoying um, do you know what I mean like it doesn't there's no flexi piece right there no flexi piece. Um, they're fixed. But because it's a short carriage, I think it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So I'll just put that back together. But yeah, if you don't bash those together, this won't pop in there easily, which it did. But as you can see, it's uh, moving back and forward a little bit. Little bit too, too much. So let me stick it here. Oops, sorry, Sergi. Okay, I'll stick it there. And, uh, yeah, testing it on the track. Seems to be okay. Alright. Well, this seems alright. Anyway, there was no missing pieces on this set, number 25808, which is a good one. Um, now, I've ordered several more already, so hopefully I'll be doing more videos in the future, as I already said. Please subscribe for more. Um, I uh, will be doing more fake Lego stuff and also real Lego stuff. I've got the Galaxy Explorer set, which I haven't showed, done a video about for some god no reason. I just forgot to do it, but I'm trying to remember I need to do that. So, and I've been buying heaps of classic space Lego as well. So I've got more of that, and I've made some more mocks um, for it. Anyway, um, so I'll be doing more videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed watching this one, though. Alright, please subscribe for more.